so I'm back after my battery just about ran out uh, sorry about that so this is uh, part two of extreme dial fodder so um, see how cool this effect is in that liquid uh, tube so what I did was I mounted a, a little doohickey under there and placed it on there. Let me uh, turn the light on here so I can illuminate you on how I did this. So I just have it in there on an old flashlight thing. Put a couple washers so you have that little light tube there. Or the glass tube I should say and again forgive me I'm just not thinking sleep deprivation um, and by the way this is this is how I I uh, make sure I don't knock something over I, I uh, put duct tape on the bottom stick the, the, the um, protective cap in and so it's really stable around the electrical tape roll worry about knocking this over uh, you know someone said you need to get back to doing dioramas uh, <laughs> so like I said it was my finger and the fact that I'm so tired working with hot glue and sharps and so on so what did I do um, well I'll tell you what I did I was uh, using super glue this gorilla glue here um, to glue this stuff down and uh, I'm holding it in my left hand and I'm using the brush applicator all of a sudden I realize I'm pouring the uh, <laughs> glue down my shirt onto my pants onto the floor that big black area there is all where the super glue pooled so I lost about maybe a third of this expensive super glue because I'm tired and I'm not thinking but anyway so that's what happens when you get back to diorama making when you're pretty much out of it there's another little piece of that yeah that uh, that brass from the end of that life bulb went everywhere yes yeah, so I literally took a pair of needle nose pliers slowly peeled it sideways around the screwed area you can see finally I got through to the end of it and peeled it and then broke up the insulator so it was very tedious I don't expect anybody in their right mind to do it but the uh, the effect is just awesome so um, the way these work, by the way, sit this down here, is you just uh, turn it, it goes off to screw things. So these are really cool. I, I'm not sure where I got I got a couple of these, but they're perfect for diorama. So I was starting to show you this. So this is made, this, this door is made just with uh, scotch tape that I... Uh, put my fingers on to frost and many many pieces of this thin plastic that came with those instant camera film cassettes again I'm not expected to be able to find those but in the fodder I got it and then I cut the yogurt containers these were some kind of uh, like shot glass things and these are obviously plastic shot glasses and uh, this I, I purposely wanted to use the super glue to, to, to fume it so it frosts up because I want to have the idea that these are active biological environments for growing the plants that they harvest so uh, it worked just like I expected um, and then this is this is a whole bunch of different kind of fodder pieces uh, glued together 
And so the idea is this is a ramp. And the little tiny people go up there. This is, oh, this is like two and a half stories uh, as far as the scale height. And I started to show you this. I made this early this morning. I can't lift it up. It's a big, heavy uh, base from that um, fluorescent light. Uh, I took apart the it's the transformer because it had to counterbalance this big, heavy piece here. Um, yeah, and then the other parts are from a trophy. And then there's a. Um, What do you call those things? Put in light fixtures, like a condenser type of thing. Anyway, um, so stream fodder, this diorama is proceeding slowly but surely. And um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah. Out in the other staging area here, uh, I had to clean out the attic because we had a plumbing problem. And uh, <clears throat> again, my my kids have a bunch of junk in there. So uh, one of the things was an uh, old stereo, and so I took that apart. Let's see, this to make a good radar dish or microwave receiving or sending. Look at all the things you get: forty some screws, brackets. I always like these things, antenna thing. This could be like a door. The grills were the hardest thing to get off because they, they glue them. And what's so funny about this? This is a super cheap made in China thing. And the grills were over here with fake speakers. These are not real. They're, they're just molded plastic. There was no place for wires. So this was all just for show. This was... The amazing brand GPX Grand Prix old school cassette stereo. So this would be cool painted up. It's just a sci-fi sci panel. This also could be a sci-fi panel. You could have a door here. Then there was a separate little speaker. American made. Well built. With a larger speaker. These were the little tiny ones that were in the, the fake speaker. These were real speakers together with the fake speakers. Non existent ones. So, uh, this to remind me that I, I made a, uh, a, a thing to pull up dandelions or to pop dandelions on the ground from an old mop. I took the mop head off, which is here. Again, someone threw it away, and so I have this cool thing, and uh, I went outside, and I'll show you what happened when I did that, but before I do that, this is the cheap uh, particle board that was the, the, the box where the speakers were in, and uh, I make good tabletops, so that's one good thing. So I made that, and I'll show it to you. It's outside. I thought, let's let me go try it out. It's just not yet raining, uh, so I thought I could also use it to pick up apples, because the neighbor's apple tree constantly drops apples in the fall. And uh, so here is the uh, MacGyver-looking thing I made from the mop. I just found a, a, another. Uh, found object dump job, this old heavy duty fork. I just jammed it in there. You can't tell because of the Gorilla tape, but this part is a, a shaver I jammed down into the tube. Shaver handle, wet shaver handle. I just duct taped it. It works really well. It popped the end lines. And so I was doing that. I decided, hey, I haven't been in the uh, back so I started wandering around the back didn't have my gloves on or anything but uh, the reed plants are really growing but anyway 
So, I realized I could grab moss with this. So I started gathering some moss, and uh, like, you know, Rolling Stone doesn't gather any moss, but I do. Um, but right through there, up that hillside, um, I brought a backhoe in here to look at the water table, and they would dig uh, with the backhoe, and well, they dug into the, the, the side there, and exposed a lot of junk, and so I went over there, and I found a whole bunch of stuff, even a, even a, a planter, a couple planters to use to haul it in, so I'm going to show you the stuff and what I made with it. Another challenge, just use what I what I found. So look at this. So I found this this metal tube thing, which I have no idea. It's some kind of exhaust thing. It's really cool. Bottle. This was part of a Christmas tree stand. Uh, super cheap, funky uh, lug wrench for evidently a very small car. These, of course, are from the tree stand piece of foam looks like a brick I first thought it was a brick but it's that floral foam then this is weird so this was sitting there it was intact it had this root coming out this part was sticking out and I thought, oh, let me pull it out well there's a root ball in there so I ripped it open and creepily enough look at all these little tiny ground beetle carcasses this little land snail uh, carcass. I don't get it. Was there a Hawaiian punch still in there and they just all kept on going in there like lemmings and all died? I, I don't get it, it's, but it's creepy, isn't it? So I found some nice bark. I want to cut a piece for my grass spider. That's a perfect uh, hide for her. Nice looking leaf. So this is what I made with the stuff I found. I found a whole bunch of abalone shells. Found the part of a coconut shell. Uh, found this round bone. Found these rocks. Found most of this moss. Some of this moss was taken from that one there that's falling apart. But this area here is all exclusively what I found today. Even this, this stuff you go, oh, come on, you found that too? Well, actually, I did. It was in the back. I got plenty of it inside, but I didn't go inside. The only tool I used was what I found. I used the end of this to poke the extra holes here. They were halfway opened anyway, so they're not smoke. So this is like some kind of little shelter, like a hobbit house someone made. So abalone shells provide some of the, the terrain and the rocks and Bob's your uncle. There it is. Um, boy, the, that pear tree is just snowing. And of course we got an apple tree there. It's got the blossoms on. There's another apple tree there. See the blossoms up there? So, yeah. So the big tall reeds are starting to come up. Back there, it's like they're growing a foot a week now. It's amazing. So, uh, what else? That's about it I got for found objects. Um, and for the creepy beetles. And wonder what's for lunch. He's cooking something. I am out.